Hello everyone, this is Professor He. Nice to see you again. The topic of this task is about the ranking cycle. Many of the impracticalities associated with the color cycle can be eliminated by superheating the steam in the boiler and condensing it completely in the condenser, and soon schematically on a TS diagram in figure 11.3. The cycle that results is the ranking cycle, which is the ideal cycle for vapor power plants. The PV and TS diagrams for an ideal ranking cycle are shown here. The ideal ranking cycle does not involve any internal irreversibilities. The ideal ranking cycle consists of the following four processes. 1. Isentropic expansion in a turbine, process 1 to 2. 2. Constant pressure heat rejection in a condenser, process 2 to 3. 3. Isentropic compression in a pump, process 3 to 4. 4. Constant pressure heat addition in a boiler, process 4 to 1. By definition, the thermal efficiency of ranking cycle is water enters the pump at state 3 and is saturated liquid and is compressed isentropically to the operating pressure of the boiler. The water temperature increases somewhat during this isentropic compression process due to a slight decrease in the specific volume of water. The vertical distance between states 3 and 4 on the TS diagram is greatly exaggerated for clarity. I have one question for you. If water were truly incompressible, would there be a temperature change at all during this process? Water enters the boiler as a compressed liquid at state 4 and leaves as a superheated vapor at state 1. The boiler is basically a large heat exchanger where the heat originated from combustion gases, nuclear reactors, or other sources is transferred to the water essentially at constant pressure. The boiler together with the section where the steam is superheated is often called the steam generator. The superheated vapor and state 1 enters the turbine where it expands asentropically and produces work by rotating the shaft connected to an electric generator. The pressure and the temperature of steam drop during this process to the values at state 2, where steam enters the condenser. At this state, steam is usually a saturated liquid vapor mixture with a high quality. Steam is condensed at constant pressure in the condenser, which is basically a large heat exchanger by rejecting heat to a cooling medium such as a lake, a river, or the atmosphere. Steam leaves the condenser and saturated liquid and enters the pump, completing the cycle. 
in areas where water is precious, the power plants are cooled by air instead of water. This method of cooling, which is also used in car engines, is called dry cooling. Several power plants in the world, including some in the United States, use dry cooling to conserve water. Remembering that the air under the process curve on a TS diagram represents the heat transfer for internally reversible process. We see that the area under process curve 4 to 1 represents the heat transferred to the water in the boiler and the area under the process curve 2 to 3 represents the heat rejected in the condenser. The difference between these two is the network produced during the cycle. Okay, that's all for this task. Thank you very much and see you next time. Thank you.